guys welcome back to a new video so Aladdin came out this week and I wasn't initially going to do this tutorial but I went to the mall yesterday and everywhere you look you see Aladdin everywhere the Disney store had a huge Aladdin poster in the front and then inside there were toys and everyone was so excited and of course I walked by the Mac store and I saw the collection there and it actually looked really really beautiful now I'm not a huge huge Mac cosmetics fan but this collection was definitely something that I eyed and I definitely fell in love and I had to get it and review it for you guys this collection includes three lip glosses four lipstick shades and an eyeshadow palette there is also a bronzer and a highlighter as well as a pigment shade lip gloss jar and a black eyeliner I did not want to purchase the entire collection, so I really wanted to pinpoint it to kind of products that I would recommend to you guys. I ended up picking up three pieces out of the collection. These three were by far my favorite. The eyeshadow is absolutely gorgeous. The packaging is very, very pretty. And inside you have nine eyeshadows that are very, very beautiful. Most of them are shimmers except for three. You have a darker tone and also two neutrals. Now the formula is very, very pigmented. Let me go ahead and swatch it for you guys on camera just one swipe. I'm really surprised by how pigmented these eyeshadows are. Previously when I would purchase eyeshadows from MAC they were not this pigmented so I guess perhaps they changed the formula but definitely a very beautiful palette. For my look today I started by using the soft pink shade and blended it into my crease. I then picked up this neutral brown shade and added it to my crease by blending it over the initial pink shade to add a transition. Using a flat brush, I picked up some of the darkest purple shade in the palette and added it to the outer corner of my eye. I then cut my crease and added this beautiful lighter shimmer shade to my inner corner. This made the color really pop. To blend the two colors together, I added the softer purple shimmer shade between the two initial colors. I then shaded the darker purple shade into my waterline. This look wouldn't be complete without a winged eyeliner, so I decided to use the Quick Flix Grand Stamped Eyeliner. Sigma contour brush I picked up some of the bronzer shade in the collection to contour my face. Another piece that I purchased was also the bronzer and I had to purchase either the highlighter or the bronzer. I have a ton of highlighters and definitely did not need any more so I decided to purchase the bronzer and it comes in this really cute packaging and it has the lamp right in the middle which is such a cute touch. As for the lipstick, I decided to go ahead and purchase the color Princess. I thought it was the most prettiest out of the entire four that they had. Um, the other ones are still beautiful, but for the look that I really wanted to go for, I really thought that this one would work the best, and it definitely does. It's very pretty. I feel like I would wear it all the time, and as usual, it comes with the normal MAC scent that their lipsticks come in that I really, really like. Now I am going to see the movie today, so I thought I would go ahead and do my makeup on camera, review the collection, and let's see how this makeup wears throughout the day. I am particularly really interested to see how the eyeshadow holds up throughout the day. So I'm going to go ahead and go watch the movie and I'll be right back to let you guys know how the makeup wears and give you my final impression. summons me by oath loyalty to wishes three excuse me if i was going to talk to myself i could have just stayed in the lane the movie was absolutely incredible i highly recommend that you guys see it if you haven't done so already such a great movie you will absolutely have an amazing time my favorite song in the movie would have to be speechless such a great song really loved it 
For those of you that have seen the movie, make sure you leave me a comment below and let me know what you thought about the movie and what your favorite song was. Now, for the makeup itself, it definitely stayed intact, especially the eyeshadow. It did not budge whatsoever. I highly recommend this collection to all of you guys, in particular the eyeshadow palette and also the princess lipstick. It definitely is a gorgeous shade. Now, for the bronzer, I do feel that there are better bronzers out there, but the packaging is too cute to pass on. So if you are interested in this collection at all, I would highly recommend these three pieces for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this review of the MAC Aladdin collection. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I do upload weekly. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next week. I won't be sorry.